comparison analysis and in this question we are going to learn how we can plot the compression tension curve. The question is asking that uh, there is a drill string planned to be used while drilling an exploration well at the depth of 4000 meter. In order to apply weight on bit 100 meter of an 8 inch drill color with the idea of 3 inch with a linear weight of 160 pound per feet will be used. We have two available of the drill pipe with the grade of 55 and J75. So K55 and J75. The K55, the OD is 5. The J75, the OD is 6 inches. And the mud weight provided is 9 ppg. For part A, is asking us to assume that the whole drill string is made of 5 inch drill pipe and drill collar. Determine the tension compression graph of the drill string. Okay, let's see what we have to do. We have 4000 meter. We have to convert this 4000 meter to the feet. And we have to consider how much is that for the drill collar, how much is for the drill pipe in the feet. 100 meter for the drill collar, we convert it to the feet and the rest is for the drill pipe. But how we can do all of this calculation? At point 1, the bottom of the hole, the only force that we have is due to the pressure applying from the drilling fluid toward the drill string which is toward up it's upward and because it is compression it's negative so F1 it's minus the bottom hole pressure multiplied by the area of the drill color the bottom hole pressure or the pressure at any point we can just calculate it using this equation 0 0.052 multiplied by the mud weight multiplied by the true vertical depths. We can do the calculation for the total depths of this well because we are at the bottom of the hole. The total depths are 4000 meters that we have converted to the feet. And how we have to do the calculation for the area of the drill color. Look at this yellow circuit that we have. Uh, if we have, we just make it uh, simple for you. If we have a circle with the diameter of ID, the area is pi divided by 4 multiplied by the ID square. If we have an area, we have a circle with the diameter of OD, the A2 is equal pi divided by 4 multiplied by OD S square. If we want to find the yellow area, we just have to we have we just have to find a2 minus a1, which will be the area of this this yellow area. And actually, this is this yellow area is the area of the drill co drill color or drill pipe that we want to do. To find. So that's why we are considering the area pi divided by 4 multiplied by the OD square minus ID square. This is the concept behind it. So when we have this value over here, we have the area of the drill color, we have the bottom hole pressure, multiply them, then we can find how much is the force at the bottom of the hole. This is the first point. The second point that we need to go we will go up until the end of the drill color if we start from the bottom of the hole. It, this point, point 2, is the end of the drill color before considering that we have a drill pipe. Point 2, end of the drill color before considering that we have a drill pipe. So what force we have beside the force that we found for F1, another force is the weight of the drill color. And the weight of the drill color easily can be calculated because we have the linear weight of drill color. The linear weight is the weight 
of the real color per feet in and if we multiply that linear weight to the length of the drill color we can find the weight of the drill color this is what we did over here to find f2 so f1 plus the weight that we have over here this f1 it was negative so we keep it negative plus the weight of the drill color which is the linear weight multiplied by the length of the drill color point 3 is the same depth depth is not changing but we are considering that there is a drill pipe over here and because there is a drill pipe over here therefore we have some sit uh, some fluid sitting here at the top then we have to find the pressure over here multiplied by the area that the this fluid can sit this area is the drill color area minus the drill pipe area and the pressure at any point can be found by using the equation that we have over here multiply by the area of the drill color minus the area of the drill pipe this will be point 3 so we found point 1 we found point 2 for point 2 if we go with using this line also we can say that point 1 we have it this is the intercept and we have the linear weight uh, of the drill pipe which is the slope of this line multiply by the depth from one point one to point two and from point two to three we have the pressure multiplied by the difference of the area for the drill color and drill pipe after point three we want to find the value for point four the point four we just have another weight which is for the drill pipe so what we found for f3 it remains plus the weight of the drill pipe which we have the linear weight of the drill pipe multiplied by the length of the drill pipe this is part one we found four point to plot this graph now it's the second part of the question is asking us check if the strength of the drill string has been passed how we can find the strength of this drill string which it was k55 that means the yield strength of this pipe drill pipe is 55,000 and how we can find the force the force of the failure is the maximum tension force that we can find which is equal to 55,000 multiplied by the area of this drill pipe which we can find the value over here after that because it's mentioned the safety factor is 2 we will divide it by 2 and we find the failure value that this tension if it's more than that that means if we have tension more than this value this drill pipe cannot tolerate any rupture so let's see if this drill pipe can tolerate or no the point three to four point three to four is the drill pipe and this value is sitting between point three and four therefore at a point this drill pipe is going to rupture and we need to change it from that point so if we find this point from this line downward it's safe because it can tolerate it it can tolerate the tension but after that it cannot tolerate that tension so we need to change it from this point to the surface and the question is giving us another one for the point C it's part C is asking if it passed do an upgrade using 6 inch drill pipe and provide the design but first we have to find the length of this drill pipe 5 inch drill pipe so what we will do is that we have point 3 and we have the failure at this point we have how much is the value we just need to find the length what we were doing before it was like that we have this value 
we have the length we want to find this point now we have this point and we have the this point we just and we have the slope of this line which is linear weight of the 5 inch drill pipe we want to find the length of the drill pipe therefore this point point 3 or F3 plus the linear weight multiplied by the length it's equal to the value of the failure at this point and we can find the linear way we can find the length of the drill pipe this is what we are doing over here and then we can find the length of the drill pipe the length of the drill pipe that it after that it will fail after finding the length we have the length or total length of the drill pipe which is 12,795 the length of the drill pipe which it was 6,000 if we if we just find the difference between these 12,000 and these lengths we can find the depth from the surface to the point of the failure and this depth is the depth that we have to substitute the 6 inch drill pipe so from the surface to the point of 6720 we have to use 6 inch drill pipe from this point to 12796 we are using 5 inch drill pipe and after that we have the drill collar but what are the forces that are going to change if we are doing this upgrade the first point point 2 remain the same point 3 is the point that failure occur that we found it already and from this point to point 4 which we consider it F4 we are usually we were moving toward right but this time we are moving toward left because the 6 inch drill pipe is at the top and the 5 inch is at the bottom we have some fluid pushing up this drill pipe and it's under compression so it is a negative force over here and how we can find this negative force we have to find the pressure we have to find the difference of the area for, for, for this drill pipe and this drill pipe the 6 inch, 6 inch drill pipe and the 5 inch drill pipe so the 6 inch drill pipe we can find the area for 5 inch drill pipe we can find the area one of them is the 6 inch is 11.14 the 5 inch is 5.27 the difference of them is the area that the drilling fluid is pushing up pushing the drill string toward up so this is the previous point that we have 144927 minus the value that we have because it's under compression minus the pressure which is 0 0.052 multiplied by the mud weight which is 9 and the depth that we are in it now 6720 minus the delta A then we can find 0.4 then we, when we have 0.4 uh, same what we were doing before we have F4 either we can say that linear weight we have the intercept we have the linear weight of this line or the slope of this line then we can find the, we have the depths we can find f5 or we can say we have all the forces until here now we have the weight of this drill pipe that we have to consider now so until here we found all of the forces then now we are considering the weight of this 6 inch drill pipe to find how much is f5 the linear weight for the 6 inch drill pipe is 26 the f4 the previous forces that we found is 12 6 4 7 0 plus the weight of this drill pipe which is 26 linear weight multiplied by the length of this drill pipe and we can find f5 that's all for this question